This is the Ulta Porsche range of laser distance meters. A laser distance meter is used to measure distances, just like you would with a folding ruler or a measuring tape. One of the big advantages is that it's possible to take measurements from a distance. This means that you can measure in areas that you can't reach, and you don't have to walk back and forth when you're measuring over longer distances. So, are folding rulers and measuring tapes a thing of the past then? Well, no, we don't think so. When you, for instance, want to transfer a measurement to a workpiece, it's still a lot easier to do it with a traditional measuring tool. It's perhaps also interesting to note that a class 1 measuring tape has a better tolerance than a laser, which means that you will have a higher accuracy when measuring with a tape than with a laser. We have three models in our range, the HDL20, 80 and 100. They are all developed to be easy to use and give precise and reliable measurements. The 80 and 20 are basically stripped down versions of the 100, so I thought we could focus on the 100 today. It's very easy to use, just three buttons and a touch screen. You start it by keeping the on off button pressed down for two seconds, and then you're ready to immediately start measuring. The most basic function is to measure the distance from the hand unit to a surface. Click the measure button once to start the laser, aim the laser dot, and then press the same button once more to take the measurement. It also has a lot of other functions for measuring, but let's start with a look at the interface before we get into that. On the left side of the touchscreen, there is a vial that shows you when the unit is leveled. At the top center, you also get the inclination in degrees. At the top, you also have the battery charge and a symbol that shows you where on the unit you have the zero. It can either be set at the bottom, the middle, or at the top. If you swipe right, you get the tools menu where you can choose different types of measuring tools. Swiping down gives you the settings menu. And swiping left, gives you the tools for adding and subtracting measurements. The on-off button also gets you back to the standard measuring mode. The third button starts the camera mode, helping you to aim over long distances or in poor visibility. Push it again to zoom in and out. As we saw earlier, you can just point and click to take a measure, but there are also a lot of other functions. If you keep the measure button pressed down, you get continuous measuring if you, for instance, are searching for a specific distance. You also get the minimum and maximum readings in the display, if you, for instance, want to find the diagonal of a room. Now, let's take a look at the other measuring functions that you find in your menu when swiping right. With the area tool, you can measure the sides of a rectangle, and the unit will give you the area. The volume tool works in the same way, allowing you to calculate the volume by taking three measurements. As we said, one of the big advantages is that you can also measure in areas that you can't reach. If something obscures the horizontal line to a surface, you can measure at an angle and the HDL100 will use the inclination to calculate the horizontal measurement. You can also measure vertical lines at a distance. There's a few different ways of doing that depending on the situation. It's also possible to measure a horizontal line from a distance. Hold the hand unit still for calibration and then take a measurement at each endpoint. You can also add and subtract measurements. Take a measurement, swipe left, and then choose if you want to add or subtract the next measurement. In the settings menu, you can choose what unit you want to measure in. You can set what point on the hand unit you want to measure from. You can access the inclination sensor that lets you measure the inclination of a plane. You can set if you want the image on the screen to rotate with the hand unit or not. You can access the memory, which stores the 100 most recent measurements. And you can use Bluetooth to connect to a mobile phone app. There are three main tools in the app. The CAD tool can be used to take measurements and draw blueprints. The camera tool can be used to take measurements and save them on an image. The Excel tool can be used to make measurements and save them on spreadsheets. Let's take a look at the hand unit. At the front you have the camera and the laser. At the bottom there is a USB port for charging the batteries. At the back you'll find the battery storage. and a quarter inch attachment for connecting the laser to a tripod. 
The housing has a protection marking of IP65. The 6 means that it's dust tight, the highest protection level against dust. The 5 means that it has a water protection level rated as water jets, which means that it can take splashes of water or a bit of rain, but it shouldn't be submerged in water. All right, that's the HDL100. Now, if we look at the rest of the range, the 80 and 20 work in pretty much the same way, but they don't have all the functions that you'll find on the HDL100. Let's take a quick look at the HDL80. It doesn't have a touch screen, so instead you control it via these buttons. But the functionality is basically the same. When you measure an area, it will also calculate the parameter, which is the sum of the four sides of the area. The options for where you start measuring are also different. You can start at the top, at the end of the ruler that pulls out from the back, or at the bottom of the hand unit. The ruler makes it simpler to take measurements in, for example, corners. The HDL20 is a very slim tool, and it takes up a lot less space in your pocket than the 80 and the 100. It is extremely easy to use, you just point and measure. If you hold down the measure button, it also takes continuous measurements. If you hold down both buttons, it switches between measuring in feet and measuring in meters. The HDL100 comes in a storage box containing a tripod, USB cord, safety strap, belt pouch, quick start manual and rechargeable batteries. The tripod is 14 cm high and has a quarter inch attachment. You push the button on the side to adjust the angle of the laser. The HDL80 and 20 comes in a box with a safety strap, a quick start guide and non-rechargeable batteries. With the 80 you also get a belt pouch and a small screwdriver since that is needed for the battery case. All right, that's all we had about our laser distance meters for now. Thank you for watching.